I am Pankaj. Uh, I come from a state and a city called Pathan Kot. If you guys know or you don't know, uh, this is on the border of the country. Uh, Pathan Kot is a place where the population is less than 10 lakhs uh, or close to 10 lakhs. And at some point in time, uh, 22 years back when I left my home, 22, two and a half years back, I think the population of the city was not more than four, five lakhs. So that's the kind of city I belong to. Uh, my father is a tailor. Uh, and I also know tailoring. Uh, I did that at my father's shop. Did that for a few years. Few years means I grew up uh, at the age of about 12 odd years, 1993 I'm talking about sometime. Uh, I'm 80, 81 born. Uh, 93, I used to go to my father's shop, sit there, learn how to do tailoring, uh, just out of curiosity. And I think at the age of 15, my father told me to go to, uh, to, go to some place to do job, which is like, be a STD PCO boy. Some of you are aware what is STD PCO? I mean, if, yeah, okay. So there used to be a shop and there used to be an inside the shop, a shop in shop, which is like a booth where people used to call. Uh, and I was like 14 and a half, 15, uh, when I did my 10th standard and then started working there. The routine was very simple. Uh, routine used to be 5 a.m. in the morning. I, I used to be there, like you guys are disciplined and you have your discipline here. I used to have my discipline there in, uh, there in that shop, 5 a.m. shop. Open the shop, clean the shop, sit there, make sure that the customers call, their relatives, whatever, maintain accounts, and then I used to leave for college. Uh, come back, used to come back from college, then I used to give tuitions to students, used to earn some money for my college and my parents. We had a financial crunch at home. Uh, this lasted for about five years. Uh, five years means 1996, 7, 8, 9, 2000 and 2001. 2001 is when Balaji Institute got first batch I've been given to understand out. And I was also out of PCO, out of college. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get my name in university's uh, merit list. Uh, I did nothing. I only used to sit at PCO and read those economics, history, political science books. And then only male student from Guru Nanak Dev University who was in merit list. And this is a humble beginning which I had. Uh, fortunate to be with a company called Asian Paints. Uh, I got placed with a lot of efforts. Looking at the newspaper ads those days, campus I was not fortunate to be in. So I had to look for job. Uh, because I had a lot of responsibility on the shoulder. Now, this was a turning point. Uh, first three years at Asian Paints, I did learn a lot of stuff, uh, but I was not clear what to do. Like you guys today, uh, you've been going through your two years rigorous program where you're fortunate to have a great management team here, Mr. Dash, Balaji uh, uh, sir's uh, legacy, which he's created. Uh, I think you have enough discipline, enough dedication and determination and a lot of other things going on. But I did not have the fortunate models of coaching. Only thing which I had in my mind is that kuch to bada karna hai. something large. And uh, I believe in Mercedes ad, if some of you know what Mercedes says, what their tagline says. Yeah, bas, either best or nothing, that's the, that's the formula and Jockey also says that, if you know, if you don't know, yeah, that also is the best. So you have to be best or nothing. There is no in between, there is no mediocrity in life. And that I think has been my thought process of life. Uh, I happen to get a life partner uh, along with my college studies. We are married for 21 years. My daughter is 20 years old today. Uh, a younger daughter is 11 years old, uh, 11 and a half to be precise. Uh, elder daughter is doing graduation from NMIMS Mumbai, uh, BCom honors, she is preparing for CAD. Uh, and my wife is a pharmacist, she's a homemaker. Uh, my parents are loving, they're there in hometown. So that's my life. And the journey of corporates, starting from leading self to being an individual, to be a, uh, to be a leader, it's a long journey. It's not a small journey. In this journey, uh, who will help you? Only you will help you. 
Nobody else can help you. Now, when I'm saying you will help you, the point is you have to become a believer of something called, uh, I call that learn more, grow more, celebrate more model. Uh, and that has become my own tagline for my life. Like Mercedes or Jockey, I also have a tagline for my life, which I created, learn more, earn more, grow more, and celebrate more. And that has become Godrej Capital's fundamental belief of uh, building organization from scratch. So uh, I learned it through the life, saying nothing is impossible. Uh, educated myself throughout the journey of last 22 years. Uh, educated, which is like learn more model. Uh, I am Calcutta, Ahmedabad, Columbia Business School. Last month, sorry, last year, December, I was there in IMD Lausanne. Continued learning and next year, already admission sought from Wharton for advanced management program, which happens only after 20 years and you have to be a CXO of one of the top companies and you just have to get selection. So next year I'll be completing my advanced management program. And uh, I think at that point in time, I realized that some journey of last 27 years has reached a point where it can inspire somebody. Uh, never used to believe in this, but I think as we become leaders, leaders job is to create more leaders. So. Uh, I'm quite passionate about helping others. That is the reason precisely I'm doing this session. Otherwise, uh, you know, if I don't love something, normally I don't give my uh, effort also to the, the field. Uh, I think this opportunity is very good opportunity for me to learn from you guys. Uh, and also to pass on to you, if one or two or three or many of you can change your behavior a bit or become learn more, earn more, grow more, celebrate more in your own mind, you can do wonders in your life. So let's move uh, ahead. Uh, we can. Yeah. So, so this is what you are able to see on your screens. Uh, so what happened four and a half years back is that uh, I was quite settled in my role in. Uh, one of the top NBFCs of India, uh, doing something very large, but not happy. Uh, I wanted to create something, something meaningful out of the opportunity. So Godrej Group wanted to start financial services company. Uh, I thought Godrej Group is India's most renowned group. And financial services uh, industry has deficit of trust. So this opportunity came to me and then we met, I'm talking about our management team. Uh, we met, met uh, Godrej family, uh, and I think we figured out that we can build India's world-class financial services company. So Godrej Industries has decided and then probably you know, invested more to create financial services business. After that decision, we came on board in 2019. What we did is, uh, we said we are the last player in industry. How do we create a world-class organization? So to create a world-class organization, eventually you need to do three things. You need to keep your people focus on, you need to keep your customer focus on, and you need to listen to your partners. So we did that through our housing finance company, through our NBFC, and we said, uh, let's first understand what can we do as a new player in industry? So we did a lot of stuff. We did, uh, first and foremost, before jumping in the well, we spent time with our uh, research on ground that what customer wants. And this is very important for all of you to know that one day you will be a strategy person. One day some of out of this room will be decision makers. But before that, you need to realize that what exactly will move the needle in corporate sector, which means every company does what? Every company offers either a service or a product to the customers. And what becomes more important is quality of the product, quality of the service. Who decides the quality? Who has built all the products you experience every day? Some of you, right? So we did like that, we went to customers and we asked from customers saying, uh, we went to actually Godrej Properties customers. Godrej Properties is India's leading developer. 
So we went to those customers and asked, what do you want from a loan company? Now, HDFC, SBI, and a lot of large players, ICICI, a lot of large players were not offering or were not focusing on customer need. Now, when they were not focusing on customer needs, what were they doing? They were giving loans. So we started asking customers, what exactly is your need? What do you want? So customers told us, uh, we want a home, we pay rent. And I'm talking about a lot of people saying, couples, first time home buyers. People buy home, they pay rentals, and they book under construction property. But by the time property is delivered, the EMI of loan goes up every quarter. Whenever the stage of construction goes up, the EMI goes up in a home loan business. So what we did is, we understood from customers and we asked them, what do you want? Customers said, our salaries go up in only April. April month of the year, our salaries go up. But we have the expenses to run. Then we introduced a concept called design your EMI. So today, we are the pioneers of design your EMI brand, which allows flexibility in the hand of customers. If you're paying a rental of 30,000 bucks a month and your salary is 50,000 rupees and you just want to pay 10,000 to us EMI, you can. And that's what made us super successful because we started our journey from Godrej Properties. We started offering loans through other developers, whether it is uh, I mean, developer A, B, C, you can take anyone, country's top developers deal with us. We very soon, within one, one and a half years, we became successful in building business. That's what we did. Thereafter, we launched business A, business B, business C, I'll talk about that. But the point which I'm trying to make out of this journey is that the journey of 1,000 miles start from a first step, and that step has to be a, a step in the right direction. So we took a right direction step, we listened to our customers, we listen to our partners, we listen to our employees. So some of you who are aware or who are not aware, you should be that at a financial services industry level I'm talking about, execution level is very high, but we are the FMCG of financial services. We respect people, we have our values, and we have a very clear model of taking care of people, taking care of our customers, and I'll explain to you what exactly that is. Now, this is what we did. Uh, we built, after listening to our customers, creating proposition for customers, we built world-class business, and the example is in front of all of you, we created fastest scoring NBFC, which is 5,000 crores in just a span of two years, and it's not easy to build a 5,000 crore AUM. Yeah, it is easy to build 5,000 crore AUM, you can build, but paise wapis nahi aate. So if you give loan faster to everyone on the ground, money doesn't come back. So what is more important is customer segment, position of the customers, robust collection mechanism. So we got our every place right. And more than that, what we told to our people, especially the sales people, hame wo customer nahi chahiye, jo yamai bounce karega. Which means in a typical NBFC, uh, sales guys just meet their credit counterparts and say, this file ko approve kar do. So just approve this file. In our company, it doesn't happen. Our sales people, they will see customer, ki ye customer ke paas to pehle se hi recovery ke liye log aare hai. We won't be able to give loan to a customer who's got a bad behavior. So that culture protected us. We got our runs faster on scoreboard. Our money is coming back. We are, we are just about to complete three years of our Operations, our license got delayed by a year, but still we were able to have the fastest runs on the board. As we speak, this month we'll be able to cross 7,700 crores of AUM. By the end of this year, we should be a 12,000 crore company, and our ambition in the next three to four years, not more than five, but we would be happy to do in four, we want to be a 50,000 crore balance sheet company, which is a 500 to 700 crore profit company, which will be India's top five NBFCs just started in 2020 within seven years, right quality of people, right quality of customers, and with clear strategy, we were able to build in India, India's pride of financial services without putting a lot of stress on people. When I'm saying stress on people, violence doesn't happen in our office morning to evening. 
what we do is we ask people and encourage them to look on their own which means we empower our people to take decisions we don't just push people hard to get output we advise them to think more and we are a listening organization if if some of you do not understand the concept of listening organization i'll just take 2 minutes because that's my 22 23 years experiences summary a company which listens to employees and change its policies and change its processes i am talking about frontline employees that company becomes listening organization and a listening organization never dies organizations die only when they are like their behavior is like kodak their behavior is like you know uh, old school thought that we won't listen to anyone neither customer nor partner or nor employees so this is this is a synopsis uh, we move forward this is a quick summary of our business it's a journey journey started from 7000 crore to 50000 crore uh, i was the first employee in business team to join in godrej 1 vigroli uh, where there was nobody nobody on uh, ground which means we didn't have even our license we did not have our product strategy we did not have anything and godrej group is the last group out of top india's groups to be in financial services business we not only created products but we also created newness in the products which pushed large players and i'll not take names of those large players it is everyone number one nbfc focused on us and copied our product number one bank again and again coming to us saying what did you do with your design your ami they copied it but copy is always a copy original is always a original that's get you first mover advantage so these are the products we launched we launched home loans in godrej properties we are today loan against property company in india we do this business in top 30 cities uh, we are a company which is doing unsecured smb business uh, unsecured smb business is a business which is loan given to customer without any property at the rate higher rate and that business is doing really well for us we are in the midst of launching cross sell cross sell is when you sell somebody a product and then you product a is already given and product b is offered to customer that's called cross sell and on product a if you want to if you want to top that up that's called upsell so that's what we are doing both things we've started now uh please don't get confused on this slide it's very simple to understand india's financial services ecosystem is 160 lakh crore system india's gdp you guys all know that gdp is more than 3 trillion dollars sometimes 3.6 sometimes 3.4 but 1.6 this is approximately 45% of gdp approximately so financial services business in india will continue to fuel the economy goldman sachs new report says that 2062 india would be number one economy in the world some of you who have not read you should give that a thought because india is going to become world's number one economy basis the data basis population basis consumption basis demands basis future i think uh if you if you look at this data and stack 1.6 lakh crore nahi hai ye this is 160 lakh crore which means when the economy grows to 62 trillion dollars us population is 34 crores and us economy is approximately 30 to 35 trillion dollar economy may have touched 40 trillion dollars but that is contracting india's economy is not even 1 tenth of us economy but when india becomes number 1 economy in the world then what will happen financial services would have fueled that contribution in 62 trillion dollar economy which means india's overall financial services ecosystem size would be what actually 15 to 20 times bigger than what it is today which means 25 30 trillion dollar uh, financial services size so if you join today you can retire in financial services and you can still continue to grow every 2 3 years that's the kind of potential industry has so that's the reason why you know why you should join a financial services company especially in india and lot of expats lot of ceos of global multinational companies are saying that if you are young this is to be the time in india if you are young india is growing and if you be in india and if you want to be in india and want to do really well be in financial services industry most of you with godrej if you want yeah so uh that's what we do this differentiates us from others 
and uh, we are a multinational company. We have few companies which are uh, having its operations across the globe. Godrej Capital is in India. Godrej Capital has a unique culture where we focus on values and some of our values are, you, if, you, if you Google our websites, you'll get to know two things. One is our culture is tough love. Second is we ask our people to bring their whole self whether you are a girl or a boy, there is no differentiation, no discrimination, nothing. We focus on LGBTQ community, we focus on everyone. We give, we give diversity, equity and inclusion our 100% focus and we treat everyone with respect. That is a value system we bring uh, as a group. Innovation, as I already spoke about, innovation is at, at the core. Everything we do, everything we discuss, innovation remains the center of the discussion, which means we just don't push people to get business. We would like to create, and I was telling this to somebody a day before, we don't just push, get files or get business. What we do is, what is the crux of strategy? Which means, what will make our people be in the marketplace and win? So we make our people succeed, we make our people win, that's how we focus on our uh, setup for success model. Uh, we have young people doing well for us. It's a very important point. Uh, if, if you guys look at the concept of uh, young age, young leaders doing well, not many organizations uh, promote young talent. Very few organizations focus on a 28 years old team member taking national sales head role. So in Godrej, if you're doing well, you'll be able to take any role. It doesn't matter what is your age. You don't have to wait for 40 years old age or 45 to be a senior person in Godrej. That's what our grow to potential is. Diversity I already spoke about and I think uh, as a whole, we offer a lot of, lot of propositions to our employees in terms of value to our employees. Uh, if you look at this, 67% uh, people grow through IJPs. So we offer internal talent the best opportunities. Uh, it's very clearly exemplified. If you are 7,000 crore company and you are becoming 50,000 crore company in the next three, four years, what will happen? Growth will happen and growth will come through people. People will grow with the business. And that's the kind of opportunities we are already offering to our people. Some people who joined us two and a half years back, they, they are already, some of them are business heads. I'll speak about them in the next slide. What we are going to do by 26, which is two years from now, financially at 26 I'm talking about, uh, we are going to be in 100 cities. So a journey which started from four cities, that journey has reached uh, today 30 cities and we will be in India's top 100 cities. Our ambition in the next 10 years is that we want to be in all large and small cities of India. That's how we want uh, our business to grow. Uh, we are looking for, uh, we are looking for not just, uh, we, are just, we are just focusing on organic right now. And at some point, we would also take organic and inorganic route to grow exponentially. That's what we'll do, uh, which will make our 50,000 ambition to 1 lakh crore ambition a reality. So uh, this is Pooja, uh, an example of what I spoke. Uh, Pooja is our... North Head, uh, North Head when I'm saying, Pooja joined us three years back, uh, three and three, three and a half, less than three and a half I think. Uh, and Pooja is in Delhi. Delhi, by the way, some of you are from Delhi uh, or not, I don't know, but Delhi is a tough market. Delhi market is quite tough market and Pooja single-handedly drives the whole company's vertical starting from Punjab Rajasthan and Delhi and she is top performer. She is a pass out of Bits Pilani and I am Lucknow. She is really uh, inspiring and she is doing really well for us. This is one example. We have many such examples in the organization. Uh, we can move forward. Uh, this is our team. Uh, this team is uh, this team is one and a half years old. This year we tried to take uh, this picture from drone and we found it difficult to get all the people in one slide and one uh, picture, which means 
we were one, I was, num I was number one employee in business team, we had our managing director, we were two, we had HR head, three, three, four people to this number of people. Last year, April, Goa, uh, I think we were there. This year, we are so large that we can't come in one picture and we just started three years back. So come be part of the Godrej Capital Growth Story. That's it, that's, that's it from presentation standpoint. Yeah.